Welcome back in a brief break from the bitter cold, but it's going to turn frigid again tonight as a cold front sweeps through temperatures close to freezing right now and the wind has calmed down just a bit, so it won't be super cold if you're heading out for a late dinner or any evening errands to run temperature wise close to 30 in Port Clinton and Sandusky Our Lake Erie temperature of 32 freezing on the dot 30 degree readings in defiance and 20s across southern Michigan. The wind chill has calmed down a little bit as well overall in the 20s with a few spots in the teens, including Oak Harbor, where it feels like it is 18 degrees outside. Now temperatures are going to take a tumble tonight as a cold front sweeps through. You can see a few snow showers pushing into Hillsdale and Lenawee counties. That's the front approaching from the northwest that will send us surging well below zero for the wind chill factor tonight. A line of snow showers stretching from Detroit through Hillsdale into northern Indiana. Overall, these are very, very light in nature, but if you do get stuck under a snow shower, could cause some very minor accumulations and a few spots of black ice possible on roadways today. So just something to keep in mind and keep an eye on this on our free WTOL 11 weather app. Heading towards the commute and bus stop forecast, it's going to be bitterly cold, but dry, at least for when the kids go to school tomorrow morning. Might still see that snow on the grass, but the roads should be smooth sailing for the morning commute. This evening, it's not going to feel too bad in terms of the wind chills right around 20 degrees. That feels like temperature and then there's that cold front negative signs across the board heading towards your Friday morning. Now, despite the winter cold, many Midwesterners do like to enjoy the cold activities, whether you're taking the kids sledding this weekend, doing some snowshoeing, cross country skiing. It is going to be a little bit brighter for the next few days. Friday bringing partly sunny skies, a sunny Saturday and a little bit milder on Sunday if you're hoping for some temperatures closer to the freezing mark and a few safety tips. Last night we shared some pet safety tips, a few common sense cold weather recreation tips. You wear that headlamp if it is dark outside. Reflective clothes like bright neons and reds are helpful and always carry your cell phone and tell a friend where you are headed. Now, if you like it really milder next week, promises 40 degree temperatures and also an active storm track next Wednesday into Thursday. Still watching this storm system as of now, it looks like we're going to start off on the rainy side of things and could see a bit of snow on the tail end of that storm system, which you'll see Wednesday into Thursday. We do cool off towards the end of that 10 day forecast, but the start of February brings a bit of a milder setting with temperatures right around 40 degrees. And overall, very, very quiet weather. Dan might not be quite enough to melt away the snow, though. It's so funny. You know, we were talking during de December. Hey, where's winter? It's, oh. it's fairly warm. There's been no snow. We knew we would pay for it eventually. And it hasn't been that bad. I mean, we had a cold yeah. stretch, but I mean, as far as snow is concerned, last week yeah. is about it. Yeah, just those little clippers, but no big snowstorm. And some folks hoping that one arrives. Yeah. Others not. <laughs> John, thank you.